Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about uh, is it worth going to Jira Premium or not, especially if you want to use uh, advanced roadmaps. Now, as a consultant on a daily basis, uh, I have to work with my clients. I have to suggest them whether they should be using a Jira Premium, whether they should be using a, a Jira Standard, or uh, what apps they need to install. It all depends on the requirements, but. Uh, Jira Premium is of course uh, very expensive. If you're thinking of uh, using Jira Premium, then uh, you should have a uh, you know, very clear uh, idea about uh, what you want to do with your Jira Premium instance. Now, of course, uh, if you go to Jira Premium uh, or if you go to Atlassian website, you can always learn about uh, the features or the differences between Jira Premium and Jira Standard. But I think, uh, I mean, of course, there are a lot of lot of advantages of, G, of Jira Premium. For example, you you can have uh, more uh, storage, uh, you have uh, sandboxes. But from my experience, I I think the key feature, the highlight of the Jira Premium is uh, definitely advanced uh, roadmaps. Now, advanced roadmaps is of course uh, a feature in uh, Jira Cloud. It is also in Jira Data Center, by the way. And by the way, if you have Jira Data Center, you get advanced roadmaps anyway. So don't worry about. Uh, Jira data center. This video is only for those people who are on Jira cloud and they are thinking that uh, they might benefit from going to Jira premium. So let us let us focus a bit more on Jira premium for advanced roadmaps only. Now if you are using uh, let us say multiple projects with planning, you may want to have dependencies across uh, different projects. Now this is of course something that you can do in Jira anyways. You can have issue linking feature or you can have uh, epics. So you can always have one project where you can keep only your epics, right? That project can only store epics and uh, all the other stories can stay in different uh, projects. One typical use case is that uh, maybe you're working in a product based company where they have uh, a product. For example, let us take the example of, uh, you know, any travel portal. Usually these travel portals have a website where people can go and they can uh, uh, book their tickets, but uh, it also comes with uh, an app. That app is also there on Android, iOS, right? So basically when these teams are working together, they are of course working on the same product, but on different platforms, on different technologies. So you may have different uh, teams working on their own project, but of course they're all working towards a common goal, right? And that common goal is, uh, let us say travel, portal where uh, they are driven by the market. So when you're working in a product based company, you're 